Today is Wednesday, September 11th, and this is Citrus TV Now. I'm Maura Vaughn, and here are today's top stories. Last night, Vice President Harris and former President Trump went head-to-head -head in their first presidential debate. Harris emphasized her opportunity economy, which would incentivize small businesses with $50,000 write-offs for startup expenses. Trump's America First policies rely on money from Chinese tariffs, bringing business back to the states. Harris avoided questions on her active, activist regularity proposals while Trump battled a slate of fact checks by the moderators. With the election still two months away, no clear front runner emerged after last night. And global superstar Taylor Swift, one of my favorites, endorsed Harris in an Instagram post to her 283 million followers after the debate. Trump responded to Swift's post signed Childless Cat Lady by downplaying her endorsement, predicting it could cost her when it comes to ticket sales. And today marks the 23rd anniversary of the 9-11 terrorist attacks. Mayor Ben Walsh and the Syracuse Fire Department hosted the annual remembrance ceremony at Fayette Fire Firefighters Park. They paused for a 17-minute moment of silence commemorating the time between the two passenger jets crashing into the World Trade Center on that tragic morning in 2001. Hendricks Chapel at Syracuse University will be open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. for those seeking a space to, to pray or reflect. And a gunman with an AR-15 opened fire at a Manlius gas station Tuesday night, but was confronted by a bystander after his weapon malfunctioned. New updates show that the 35-year-old East Syracuse man was on the influence of drugs. He is now facing four felony counts and four misdemeanor charges. New York's Cannabis Control Board advanced a measure yesterday relaxing distance requirements between dispensaries. They reinforced their startup grant program and approved 123 additional marijuana business licenses. The Office of Cannabis Management Director of Policy John Kagia stated, quote, based on the expected revenue through the number of new stores that are opening, we're very, very bullish for our outlook for the new year. Estimated 2024 sales will likely surpass $450 million. A fire broke out early this morning in a Northside Syracuse home. The Syracuse Fire Department credits the two working smoke alarms for alerting the occupants of the fire. Firefighters arrived just after 3.30 a.m. and were able to quickly put out the flames. No injuries have been reported. A Tuesday news release revealed that an Auburn sergeant and four other officers were rushed to the hospital. This came after a brawl in New York's maximum security prison. An inmate struck the sergeant on her head, causing a concussion and fractured elbow. The New York State Correctional Officers and Police Benevolent Association say the incident remains under investigation. Coming up next, inflation continued its downward trend in August, dropping to a three-year. If you're buzzed and doing this, to make yourself feel okay to drive? <laughs> You're not okay to drive. If you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. Inflation continued its downward trend in August, dropping to a three-year low. Core inflation, excluding food and energy, held steady with around 3%, with housing costs making up over 70% of the year-over-year -year rise. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell hinted at cutting interest rates in September. After peaking around 9% in June 2022, inflation has cooled and the U.S. economy seems poised for a soft landing, avoiding recession. There was a little chill in the air today, earlier today, but it was still pretty sunny out. I'm starting to feel like we're getting kind of a fall vibe. Spencer, will these cool chills be here to stay the next couple of days or some sunshine? Or the next few days are going to be absolutely wonderful. It's super sunny now. It's going to stay super sunny. We got summer temperatures during the day and maybe a bit more of that fall in the morning. I'll have more on that at live at six. But for now, Maura, back to you. And that's all the time we have for you today on Citrus TV Now. For more of the latest, follow us at Citrus TV News on X and Instagram. I'm Maura Vaughn. The news continues in an hour with Dylan Brendel and Cora Maricosta. Have a great night.